Hello everyone and welcome back. Let's take a look at where to get the best loot in Fortnite Season 8. I made a video in Season 7 of the best places to get loot, but the map has changed and the loot has also changed. So let's take a look at where to get the best loot. Before we get into the video, for those of you that love Jack Clone as much as Jack Clone loves you, Jack Clone asks you to use his supporter creator code in the item shop. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. The, the creator code is Jack Clone II. That is Jack Clone with two eyes after it. Thank you in advance for using it. I love you all, and let's get into the video. And first on the list, we have Happy Hamlet. As I said in my video, the video of how to get easy wins in Fortnite Season 8, Happy Hamlet has a ton of loot in it. The amount of chest spawns is up there with Tilted. I want to say Tilted has a few more, but. Happy Hamlet is far less populated than Tilted, which means you get more loot in your pockets, which means you will have better loot to fight with. If you want to come get some easy loot, but a lot of it, come to Happy Hamlet. It's honestly a phenomenal place to get loot for any mode, whether it's solo, duo, or squads. Come here, get some loot. Okay, let's take a look at the next item. And speaking of Tilted Towers, here we are. Tilted Towers is the second named city on the list. Like I just said, it has the most chest spawns out of any named city in Fortnite. That, along with the fact of its positioning, which is pretty close to the center of the map, Tilted Towers is the most populated city on the map on average. So to get the good loot leaving Tilted because of all the people that are here, you will have to win quite a few fights to get the good loot. You may have one weapon, but somebody else probably has another. But if you are the victor in Tilted and you are the last one standing, the chances of you having really, really good loot is very, very high. So if you would like to take a risk, but you would also like to get some really good loot, come to Tilted Towers and test your luck. And here we are back at Paradise Palms. Paradise Palms is underrated as I did state in my easy win video for Season 8. Much like Happy Hamlet, there's a lot of loot here. And you can leave here with really good loot for any game mode you're in. Again, such as solos, duos, or squads. I jump here quite often in squads, along with jumping happy a lot, just because of the amount of loot and the low population. Not too many people jump here in squads. Maybe two squads jump here. In duos, maybe one other team jumps here. In solos, maybe two other people jump here. It's honestly really, really good for loot. And for the fact that not too many people jump here, much like Happy, you can leave here with really good loot and with little effort to get it. Let's move on to the next item on the list. Here's one that you probably didn't expect, Polar Peaks. Polar Peaks, I don't honestly jump here too often, which might change after looking at the amount of loot that it has. The main castle here is just completely filled with loot. And if you don't want to start off your game fighting somebody, then jump to one of the little houses there or even the bridge and suit up there there's enough loot here in any spot that you drop that you'll be able to fight with more than likely unless you get really poor luck but polar peaks is honestly filled with loot maybe not as many chest spawns as everywhere else but the amount of floor loot or you know item spawns however you want to call it is honestly out of this world and there's a lot of mats here so if you did want to you know get yourself a lot of mats to fight with if you didn't get a lot of loot, or you just want the best of both worlds, then you can get a lot of mats, and you can have some really good loot leaving Polar Peaks. I should have put Polar Peaks on my Season 7 video for best loot, but I didn't really go there enough to really know about the loot, but Polar Peaks has a lot of loot. Let's go ahead over to Retail for our final item on the list. And here we are at Retail Row. Now, Retail, as everybody knows, is a pretty big city which means it more than likely has a decent amount of loot in it one thing that I do like about retail is the amount of mats here if you farm enough you can easily get max wood max metal and if you really are interested in it you can get max brick but that takes a lot of farming in the stores and that's not the most productive thing to do but at least max wood and max metal quite easily along with a ton of loot few people drop here it's not a super populated city but it's also not a very dull non-busy city I'd say it has like about an average population per se the one thing I don't like about the loot system here is it's all pretty spread out so it takes a little while to loot everything unlike happy or paradise you know all those buildings are relatively close together 
you can get a lot of loot in a very short time period. In retail, it's pretty spread out. I mean, there's a lot of loot here, but to loot it all and you're not in the main circle, you're probably not going to be able to finish it. But if you did want to drop somewhere to, you know, get a couple kills off spawn and get a, a, some decent loot, you know, at least average loot and leave with some shield, then retail is definitely the way for you. I don't jump retail too often just because of how spaced out it is, especially on like squads and, and you know, duos. If you're not jumping right next door to each other, then your survival rate's just going to plummet. It, it, it's just so spaced out. But retail does have a lot of loot nonetheless. So if you want to get some loot, take a look at one of the five places on this list. You will definitely get some loot there. And that wraps up our best loot video. If you have any places that you would like to add or comment on, please do leave it in the comments below. If this video did help you, please like the video, share it with your friends. If you want to stay up to date with Fortnite content, I'm talking metas or things that I create myself, subscribe to the channel and keep your notifications on so you know when I post a video. That way you're the first to know about the new things happening in Fortnite. With that being said, thank you for watching. I really, really, really appreciate it. You guys are the best, and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.